My name is Yoshiaki Kubota, the laboratory of vascular biology at Keio University. Our research team is curious about the molecular mechanisms for vascular development and neurovascular interaction. Today, we briefly introduce the recent experiments performed in this laboratory. Vascular and nervous systems are two major networks in mammalian bodies. Generally, neurons and blood vessels are closely neighboring and partially interact with each other. In this study, we found an exception, retina, a neural component of the eyes in which neurons repair blood vessels in a new mechanism for regulation of vascular and arterial growth factor, VEGF. First, we found retinal neurons highly express VEGFR2, a critical endothelial receptor for VEGF through a hemangioblast specific enhancer, DMME. Next, we generated neuron specific VEGFR2 conditional knockout mice. These mutant mice showed misdirected angiogenesis toward neurons, resulting in abnormally increased vascular density around neurons. As a mechanism for this phenotype, we found free VEGF proteins in extracellular fluids were massively increased in the mutant mice. Indeed, deletion of VEGF in neurons completely normalized this phenotype. Moreover, genetic abrogation of the VEGF endocytosis in neurons recapitulated the misdirected angiogenesis seen in neuron-specific VEGFR2 knockout mice. These data suggest that an excessive amount of VEGF protein around neurons caused by insufficient endocytosis of VEGF by VEGFR2 deficient neurons leads to misdirected angiogenesis. Taken together, this study revealed novel neurovascular growth work and brand new regulatory mechanism for the VEGF distribution. Retinal neurons titrate VEGF to limit neuronal vascularization. Also, this study explains how the retinal vascularization radiates two dimensionally along the surface of the retina while the neuronal area remains a vascular. We expect that this study offers novel insights into the pathology of human retinal neovascular diseases, for example, age-variated macular degeneration and diabetic retinopathy, in which neovascular cluster is involved very much. <laughs>